everyone. I'm here with the lovely Jackie and I just did her fill, which of course she had nothing on her nails. And so there's a couple that I fixed, like this corner was fixed and this one we gave a new extension and this one was all new. So that one's filed quite a bit. So if you see that some are shiny and some are filed, that's why. I'm going to go ahead and use Brazen, which is a super awesome, fabulous color. And shoot, you want tip fade, right? Um, no, and then just the well, whole thing and the then we're thing. gonna okay so we're gonna yeah. do the whole thing in green and then we're gonna do glitter mm -hmm. from the tip or from the cuticle the tip okay so we are going to do full coverage of brazen and then she picked a loose glitter so i can't answer questions for a minute because my ipad is dead and charging but once it decides to turn itself on then i will be able to answer questions so my apologies for that at the moment but i figured i'd still come on and chat with y'all a little bit. We were just talking about trips and where people are going and what they're doing. And yesterday I kind of started talking about mine, but then I don't think I ever finished. But for our anniversary in September, we're supposed to go to Greece. So I'm super excited about I know there's one of my YouTube followers that's in Ireland, but we did Ireland last year. We actually got to do, um, not, we didn't actually plan it this way, but we arrived right before St. Patty's Day. And so, was I doing your nails around then? I can't remember. Um, I don't think so. But we got to so. go, we arrived a few days before St. Patrick's Day. So everything was green, which was really cool. Um, they make all the buildings green and like the whole airport is all super festive and done out and green and it was really, really cool. And then they green, they call it greening the buildings. So they have built like castles and like all these buildings are all, there is a fuzz that wants to drive me crazy. Um, all these buildings have big green lights that are projecting on them. So it's really cool all over the place. So you wonder, oh, is, is St. Patrick's Day totally Americanized? And it's like, mm, no, they really like it there. They're all about it. So that's pretty fun. We got to do a parade. We were in a little town. I think we were in Killarney, I believe. I'm trying to remember if it was Killarney or Kilkenny, but I think it was Killarney. And they had this cute little parade. And it was like all the little elementary school classes, because it's such a tiny town, all elementary school classes, they all got to be in the parade, and it was like circus themed, so they all dressed like little clowns. It was so cute. And um, they sold green ice cream in one of the little shops and little cute little outfits. Kids dressed as leprechauns. It was fun. So it was a cool experience, and it wasn't expected because we actually didn't even know we were going to be there during St. Patrick's Day until one day my husband's like, are we going to be there? Like, yeah. So, of course, he had to go into a pub and get a Guinness because, I mean, St. Patrick's Day in Ireland, you have to go in a pub and get a Guinness. That's what he said anyway. What was the ice cream like? It was like frozen yogurt, but it was just like, that can go in. It was just dyed green, so. Um, but it was... It was cute. It's like their tradition in that town, I guess. And I found a super, super cute hat that I totally forgot to wear this year. I mean, who would I have worn it for? Was I even working still? I don't know. But it's a sequence green, like, top hat, and it's so cute. So again, if I'm not responding, I'm sorry guys, I'm just waiting for my completely dead iPad to kick itself on so that I can pull up the video and answer any questions, but we're just hanging out. I figured I had some happy people yesterday that I came back on video, so I thought maybe I'd do it again. Happy Friday. There's a little extra dust here from my filing, so I'm just removing that. Fuzz is the enemy. So Jackie here has been in the medical world this whole time. She hasn't been able to go anywhere. 
and um, she didn't get any time off. She's been busy, busy, busy. And no movies to go see. How bummer is that? I wonder if they're going to extend our bucket a year. I know, they should. Yeah. We got the um, popcorn bucket. AMC does a popcorn bucket, which, let me tell you, is hard to find. I actually had my cousin send us some from Colorado because we weren't sure for sure if they were going to get them here because it wasn't on the list to get them when I looked online. But Jackie knew that she was going to get them, and she did. So we got the popcorn buckets from AMC, so it's refillable. Um, but... I don't think it's going to open until July. July? Mm. Yeah, it's possible. Well, when is... Oh, because it's like a phase three thing or something. Mm -hmm. And we're in phase two here. Well, I'm about a mile from Kirk King County. So I'm in Snohomish County, which is SNP phase two. But a mile away, there's still phase one and a half. So I didn't even know I was Snohomish County. I thought it was far enough south that I was King County. And then one of my clients was like, oh, no, you're Snohomish. I'm paying attention. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, you see. But they even opened salons in one and a half, so Seattle's in the open. Did you see all the crazy at Capitol Hill with them trying to give them, make themselves their own country? Mm. I'm like, yeah, and watch when Seattle says, okay, well, this is border protection and we're no longer allowing anyone from your country into our country. <laughs> I don't think they're going to have a country for very long if that's the situation, because it's not everybody that lives there. I know people who live in Capitol Hill and probably think it's the stupidest thing. Oh, my iPad just kicked the Apple sign on. It's coming to life. Well, that's good, because then I can answer questions as I go to mix in glitter, because glitter is the needed part of this. So this is such a good color. Again, this is brazen, which is a nice bright turquoise. This is actually like the nail camp color this year. So um, all of our bags for all the swag, all the swag bags this year are all um, brazen. So, okay, I think we are in business. Let me just make this turn. Maybe. Uh, hold on, my screen I think is locked. Maybe not. It's not locked. Swipe left. There we go. Hey, Marina! I see you all now. Hi, Nancy. All right, good. We didn't miss many comments. Y'all are just quiet, and there's not probably very many people watching me because it's a work day. And that is okay. So for couple of you that are hello all right so cute little shorties on her but I bet she's gonna be glad to feel like she had strong nails again yes <laughs> I feel like that's probably the worst of it that and cuticles man people's cuticles just do not hold up well when they don't have their nails protected so Someone once told me that it's because the oils in your cuticle are constantly trying to cover your natural nail so that you have protection on your natural nail. Well, when you have gel on, it protects your natural nail. So those that cuticle oil can stay up near your cuticles. So cuticles tend to be less dry and less peely and things like that when you have nails on. And, um, you know, everyone having to survive without nails on are coming in with just wicked cuticles to deal with. So that's a bummer. Hi, Madison. You're waiting for glitter. You want a preview? Ah! That was a little, <laughs> a little moment. Um, but I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get a little bit of product in the side here. So what you can do, and I show people this little trick, is that if you push the skin down and you very carefully, you can actually trim, oopsies, trim this little lip of gel or you can hit it with a bit later but before I do a second coat if I get it it's very very thin that little spot of gel that seeped there we go so now it's 
gonna be smoother and I won't have to worry about that. So that's real world nails for you. How to fix a spot of color that seeped on you. All right, let me fix that. Because I do like to get it as close to the sidewalls as possible. So that is one way that you can quickly fix that. I'm not happy um, leaving anything in the cuticles. I It makes me not happy when they come back if there's anything in the cuticles. And it's the number one cause for lifting. So if I see it, I get it out. And it's either, that works really well if it's just a layer, like there was no hard gel there, it was just a little bit of the color. So it's really easy just to clip that little bit of color away. But if you do that with hard gel, um, use your small bit, like your foot, the 2S football bit, and smooth that out. Um, sometimes if you go through your color to smooth it out, obviously, you're gonna have to fix it. Um, but smooth it out because otherwise you're gonna have big lip and you don't wanna have funkiness. All right, almost to glitter. Uh, Karen said she's taking advantage of watching lives before she has to go back to work. Yeah, it's coming. Everyone will be back to work in no time. We were talking about how we don't think the world will ever shut down like this again. Like everybody that's alive right now is going to have to die off. It's going to be 100 years in the next big pandemic before everything shuts down for something like this again. All right. So now here is my glitter happiness that you guys were waiting so patiently for. This is called Rosé All Day. And this is a Profiles Glitter that I sell on my website. I try to make sure I keep this in stock because anytime I show it, it sells out. So my apologies if it ends up being sold out before you get it. Um, but it's a great holographic loose glitter. And what I like about it is that there's a lot of small bits of glitter. So it's a dual size. Do you see that? So because it's a dual size, it's going to fade nicely. And so we're going to be putting this on her tip. So I brought a palette out and yes, my nails are still six weeks grown out. And I think I've decided I'm going to wait until like right before I go away for the fourth and do them. So they may be like eight weeks grown out before I do them. So I'm, I'm in solidarity with all my clients who can't get in until the end of the month, um, and are still desperately waiting. So I understand. I'll just stay There's some glitter stuck on my spatula. I'll just stay with you and have bad nails and so hopefully if you're catching this on YouTube in years to come you'll be like oh that was the time of quarantine <laughs> when we all had bad nails so there's different ways to mix your glitters um a lot of times I'll use a chunkier gel and that's totally fine because her nails are so small I want to keep everything as thin as possible because I don't want to build a lot of um, thickness so I'm actually going to go ahead and use some trinity for it this time so I'm just going to scoop a little bit of Trinity out on my spatula. And then I'm just going to, you can use all kinds of different tools for this. You can use the back of a cuticle pusher. I have a clean orange wood stick here. So I'm just going to drop some glitter in this and make sure I have a decent amount. These are amazing because they're only four, the glitters are only $4 for this nice big pot. And they will last you forever because you can see how little you actually need for one client. So, um gonna mix this up I want it to be kind of stiff because then I'm gonna have a it's almost like pigment like it's almost like having a nice pigmented layer if you have it have a lot of clear gel to it then you're gonna have a lot more gel on the nail compared to your glitter and I just want it to stick so this is a good way to get your glitter to stick to the nail without adding a lot of uh, thickness so there you go that's Trinity mixed with your glitter so it'll stick perfect all right, now I'm going to make sure I switch brushes because I used a brush for her fill. And if I use that for my glitter, the brush can no longer be used for her fills because it will be stiff. So this is a brush. You can see there's a little glitter in there. It's my glitter brush. And it's also stiffer because um, as you use it with glitter, it becomes stiffer. So she wants tip, tip fade, right? Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna grab a little bit and off my palette. And you can do all five and then go through and fade them. And I typically do about a third of the nail and then fade up to the halfway mark. 
if you cover the whole nail, you won't see the grain anymore. So to be able to do this properly, you don't want to cover the whole nail. So you guys doing anything this weekend? <laughs> I asked that, but it's kind of funny. What are you doing this weekend? Are you going to any fairs or festivals this weekend? No, I'm just staying and watching movies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alone started last night, and it didn't download before I went to bed. And so I am, like, counting down the moments to get to watch it tonight because I love Alone. Do you guys watch Alone? I've never heard of it. It's on the History Channel, and it's... Um, they drop like fifth. This is like season seven, I believe. So it started in Vancouver Island, and they drop fifteen people down onto the island, but all over the place, like they're miles apart, so they're never going to run into each other. And they give them camera equipment, and they get to pick like ten survival items out of a list. And then they have a satellite phone, and when they give up, they call in and give up. So it's like last man standing, and so it's really interesting to see like what shelters they build and how they figure out how to catch food. And, you know, they didn't know how long, like the first season, they had no idea how long it was going to go and how you don't know when somebody gives up. So you don't know if you're one of three people left or one of 10 people still left. So they have no idea. So it's just keep on surviving. And so, you know, it's, it's crazy when it gets down to two because you're like, oh, who's going to give up first, you know, because they just keep going day by day until one finally gives up. And can you imagine being the second place guy and being like, oh, if I just waited, he might have given up in like three days, you know? So although the first year the guy at the end was like, oh, I was planning to be here till spring. And you're like, okay, in that case, being second place, I'm really glad I gave up when I did. Because <laughs> that would have been crazy. Will they be at camp? I'm wanting some. The glitters? Oh, yes. I will have every glitter in my store at camp. So it's glitter heaven. And I have a bucket. I used to sell um, sparkles glitters, which has a lot of different chunky combinations. Um, so here is a tip if you're at Nail Camp East. Um, one of the good reasons of coming to Nail Camp East is because I'm going to have a bucket there. And it's basically going to, it used to be $5.99, so it's going to be 3 bucks for those glitters, um, but they're, let me grab one for you. This is number one of the Sparkles glitters, and so they have a lot of different ones that are not uh, sold from profiles, and so totally different combinations of colors and stuff, but I only have what I have left, and so I'm going to have a bucket, and it's gonna be a dig what you want bucket, and they're all just gonna be three bucks, so. Um, get to my booth early. Tip number one. So when I do these fades like this, I'm going to purposely pull the tiniest of the glitters as a, up a little bit higher. And that's what gives you a better fade appearance. So leaving the good chunks towards the bottom and just pulling some of the finest ones up near the top is what's going to give you that really cool illusion. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, a bucket. I know. I was trying to figure out a way to do it, but there's not a lot of space in and I bring the whole store, so it gets really crazy. And I'm looking into start for Madison, for you, my dear. I'm looking into start eventually carrying light elegance and for my other clients who really love customers who really love getting their glitter gels as well. Um I just my husband has to figure out where the room's gonna come from because we're out of room at the house and until our new shop is built, we are limited on space, but I want to be able to have it for the educators from Light Elegance that like to come and teach the product, but there's no product for people to pick up either. So if I can have it available for these educators, that is, that's great. So that's one of my plans. I did finally get a Let's Touch in. So if you guys like to use Let's Touch for your implements, which I've been using for over 15 years because it doesn't rust them, keeps them all perfect, and it's a great... Um, I love it. I use Ultronics liquids for my spray, but um, which a lot of people get those have gotten those at nail camp. So I've used those forever for my surface disinfectant, but for my implement disinfectant, Let's Touch is an awesome hospital grade disinfectant, and I now have it on the web store. So if you're needing it, just go to by type under disinfectant, and it is there. 
because I know sometimes people are having a hard time getting what they need. All right, last one. Now what's nice about this combination with, I believe we are smooth enough. It's the other reason to use Trinity. It will self level. And if you look at it from the side angle, it's smooth enough that I'm gonna be able to just use regular Luxio gloss. If you use a really chunky glitter, you're gonna to wanna to use a thicker top coat. Um, but you can just use Luxio gloss if it's flat enough. Which is good because it keeps it thin. When you have to use a thicker gloss for a chunkier glitter, then you end up with a little bit thicker nails. So. There, how is that for some pretties? That can go in the light, thank you dear. All right, do you guys wanna watch a whole nother hand be done or you want me to sign off? <laughs> Sometimes I run out of things to say. And then I'm like, well, I just watched the first hand. They probably don't need to watch another hand. <laughs> so what is oh you have the mice from cinderella so her mask has the mice from cinderella it's very cute i feel like the masks have been like a fashion show like every client that comes in i think there's only been one or two that have had just like the standard white everybody else has come in with just the cutest designs and fabrics and stuff we stopped making the white anything with white just because of dirt yeah Genesis is still making masks, so if you're out there and you need masks, Genesis Ward is making them, so she was nice, and I ordered one, and she sent me a Seahawks one, so that was awesome. I hope there is Seahawks this year. Someone said they're working on the rules for them, whatever that means. I mean, I guess they can do games if people are watching it on TV, but... I'd like to be there live, and I wonder if they play as well when there's no cheering going on. I mean, no one can, like, try to make them have an offsides because that's half the game, I feel like, sometimes. It's the benefit of being in Safeco. Or Questfield, not in Safeco. Hi, Kristen. You can't you go live with your next client, pretty please? <laughs> Marina, you're so sweet. Um... I may. I mean, I think my next one's a full set, too. I'm a little well, my neck. I do her toes next, and then, um, all right. Look, at, I made the perfect amount. Now I need to scrape to get that last bit. Um, yeah, I think I've got another full set today, which, how are, how are all my nail tech friends doing with all these full sets? Because it is hard on the ball day. I slept weird last night. My arm is all twisted and out of whack. So I'm glad I don't have like six full sets today or I'd be in trouble. Which day did you start back then? Tuesday. So not very many days. But I have so many projects I could do that, you know, I could, I would have been fine keep working on my other projects, but... I had people texting me before the announcement even came from the governor. It had just gotten on the news that, that Snohomish was approved for phase two, and I was getting texts already, and the governor hadn't even done this press release about it yet. Hmm. And I'm like, you people already booked. I can't see everybody in the first week. And I got so many texts of, can you move me up, that I had to send that email out that said, I'm sorry, I can't see 100 people in one week. So it's all good. Everyone will soon be fine. But I do wish I had a videotape for all those who have had full sets because they're like, they breathe this big, heavy sigh of relief when they look down and they have nails again because they're like, oh, hello, beauties. I've been doing my own nails since I was in beauty school. So that was... 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago. 
I started school right after 9-11. I was starting the very next week, so it's easy for me to remember when I started going to school. So I was in my last week working at a, um, I was a temp, and I worked at a mortgage broker's office. And ended up that day, of course, spending all day on the web trying to get news and information for everybody else. Because I was kind of done with the work that I was there to do. So, but yeah, then I started nails. But I've been doing my nails myself since before that, actually. I started, I think, when I went to college to 99 my second year, my sophomore year of college, I had a roommate who did her own, and I was, I'm a nail biter, I'm one of the nail, many nail techs who are nail biters, and so I have to have nails on, and she did her own, and I was like, what? She's like, yeah, you just go to Sally's and get the stuff, and, da, 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 da. and I'm like, Psh, if you can do yours, I can do mine, and so I had told her, had her tell me where to go and what to get, and sat for about six hours, putting stuff on and filing it off and putting it on and filing it off until they look decent. Of course, I think they look decent. I wish I had pictures of them now, you know. But then I did my own, so I guess I've been doing them since then, so longer than that. And I only really thought about getting into doing nails because since I was doing my own, I'd sometimes have people that ask me, where do you get your nails done? Because I did the nail art the way that my old nail tech in Vegas used to do it growing up. So I had marbling and stuff that I remember her doing. So I had nail art. and I went to school in Reno and there were definitely not a lot of people that were doing nail art. So people would ask me where I got them done and then I would say, I do them myself. Sorry, no, I'm not doing yours. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> Deanna says, I feel like a blindfolded one arm sloth doing full sets after three months. And how has my speed been? Um, maybe a little bit slower on full sets just because it's, it, I think it's more because there's so much cuticle work to do. So the manicuring is taking a long time. Um, so what might take me an hour and a half is taking me more like an hour and 45 to two hours, depending on what I'm doing. Um, Madison asks, can you fly into Washington? You were looking for flights. Uh, yeah, I can definitely fly into Washington. There's no restrictions on flying here. Um, and flights are crazy cheap right now, which is awesome. You'll want to rent a car. Now, there's other people flying in, uh, like Geneva. I was actually talking to you yesterday. And Geneva is going to be at East and West because she loves camp, which is great. Um, I'm going to have you freeze this just two seconds for me so it doesn't move. Um, she's flying in as well. And so you might be able to split a rental car with her because camp is not near the airport. It is a ferry. So if you've ever watched Grey's Anatomy and you always see the ferries, you're taking one of those to get to camp. So you take a ferry over to the island. Um, so you'll want to do a rental car. Now we have a one that, um lives around here. I think Rebecca, she always would take a bus right to the ferry port and just walk on and then catch a ride with one of the nail techs that are on the ferry because it's about an hour ferry. So everybody gets off and walks around and takes pictures. And so you can definitely tell who the nail techs are. Everyone's all excited. Um, and so she would typically be able to bum a ride off of one of them to get to camp. So you could do that, but I highly recommend um, hooking up with someone like Geneva where you can share a room at the area airport hotel, which I'm going to get some a group rate for. So um, if everybody wants to stay in the same hotel, you can. So I'm just waiting to hear back from some of the booking offices. They're a little bit slower these days. Um, and then I'll be able to offer a group rate for people that want to stay near the airport the night before camp, so, and or the night after. Um, and that's always good. It's going to be fun. It's our 10 year. So, um, 2010, we started doing nail camp or the Northwest nail retreat. And, uh, Now it's been 10 years, and I've done, because I did two camps last year, we had one year off, but because I did two camps last year, this is, in fact, 
10 camps. So I actually have saved my bags of swag for every year because when I got to 10 years, I wanted to show you all how cool it is that we have all these donations over the years from all of our sponsors. And so I wanted everyone to see that and make sure that you guys thank the sponsors because they are what makes Nail Camp awesome. And all the swag and raffles and everything. It's super fun. Alright, perfect line of light. Alright, that hand's done. Oh, Megan says those are fantastic. Turned out quite pretty. I'll give them a good cleaning because I used regular top coat so there is a tacky residue and then I always go through and make sure that nothing is funky around the sides or the free edge and typically take the corners off a little bit because people don't want to stab themselves or somebody else I mean really that's the best time is when you can give someone a good scratch right I come through on the sides, make sure it's all totally smooth. Because sometimes something's super minor, see that little tiny, tiny, tiny bit there? That'll catch on stuff and it's gonna be rough and then your clients are gonna have to file that. So by just coming underneath and making sure everything's smooth, you can end up with a much more polished finished set. So I'm gonna take the same band I used on her earlier. And I just want to make sure her free edge is thin and smooth and good to go. All right, other hand, please. Jessica says she's so excited to go back to Vashon. It will be a little bit like a fun thing. Uh, so Megan just asked what polish are you using and what glitter did I use? So we used Brazen, which is Luxio Brazen. And for glitter, make sure it's closed, I used Rosé All Day from my website. So mixed that with a little bit of Trinity to create um, her glitter fade gel. All little nails, little nails. <laughs> Her sister comes to me too, but she's got smaller. Hers are even Four. smaller. She, yeah, she has yeah. them even tinier. So these are probably the tiniest of nails that I do. Little bitties. These are my twins. That is kind of funny when you think about it because you guys are twins, but you really don't have the same nail beds. Nope. So... I don't know if it is like life changes nail beds or what, but you're identicals without the same nail beds. And maybe someone else wouldn't notice, but you know, us nail techs, we do. We know nail beds. Isn't it funny, you guys, like nail techs out there seeing our clients' nail beds after they've come back with nothing and they look like totally different? I talked about this yesterday, how nail beds really change so much when you don't have product on them. They get a lot shorter typically. There's a little gel right there. I'm just going to... Get that off. I think I hit it with the Trinity. That's what happens when you got shorties. Um, but yeah, their their nail buds look so different when they've had no product on them. All right, let's magic oil. This is the um, Cuccio oil that I so very much love. And this one is the white limetta and aloe vera, which is nice. It's an extra hydrating, revitalizing, which is good for everyone whose poor cuticles have been crazy. So, all right, guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully you picked up a trick or two. At least you got to see some fun glitter action and we will catch you later. Bye.